too, is that it gets harder the further you get away from your date of accident to your first date of seeking medical treatment. It gets hard in a matter of proof uh, to medically right. relate those two things together. Yeah, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so then to summarize what we know so far, workers' compensation law, just as the name implies, has to do with illness or injury that results um, as a result of your job, your Correct. work, right? And, and whether or not you are injured or become ill as a result of your employment, the answers aren't always easy, so it's worth a phone call to check it out or to get on the website. I, I happen to know uh, mm -hmm. millandpeskin.com. You have right. a lot of information on we your do. website. We do have a lot of frequently asked questions and things like that to try and clear up some of these right. you know, more common questions right. that a person might have. Right. Um, well, we're going to go to a break in a minute, Kevin, but when we come back, I'd like to talk more specifically about what benefits are available to employees when they are injured at work. Um, is there, this is probably an unfair question, Kevin, but <laughs> can you give us an idea, maybe a top three? What do you see in your practice? What are, are there any common injuries that you see over and over again? Yeah, I mean, certainly when you're talking about an injury, an injury is going to come mostly, I mean, the most common ones are going to come from some sort of exertion or some sort of heavy labor. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get those injuries are going to be in your joints. So, I mean, if you're really going to talk about the most common type of injuries, you know, backs, mm -hmm. shoulders, knees, those are the things that you're going to see injuries in the most. Mm -hmm. Another one is also repetitive injury so carpal tunnel syndrome you know when you have repetitive motions for instance right. if you're working at a computer all day long uh either keyboarding or mouse you know mouse right. clicking right. um and you're gonna get some numbness in your hands that's called carpal tunnel syndrome uh, so you'll you'll get those a lot too so i guess those that's kind of my top ranking yeah i know i knew it was an unfair question but i wanted to run it by you anyway well we're going to take a break we hope you stay with us when we come back we're going to be talking more specifically about benefits available to employees who are injured on the job thank you please stay with us Do you need guidance on a foreclosure or bankruptcy matter? Have you been hurt at work or suffered a personal injury? Do you need help filing for a divorce? The Lawyer Referral Service is a public service of the DuPage County Bar Association. Please call us from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday at 630-653-9109. Say habla espanol. To access the service online, log on to www.dcba.org and click on Find a Lawyer. Naperville Sports Weekly will bring you scores, highlights, and statistics from all of your favorite Naperville area high school sports, as well as commentary by local sports experts. Don't miss your chance to be a part of the winning team through a Naperville Sports Weekly sponsorship. For sponsorship info, contact Nancy Wearsome at 630-355-2124. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Legal Action. We are here today with attorney Kevin Millen, and we're discussing the important issue of worker compensation issues. Mm -hmm. Kevin, when we went to the break, we were talking a little bit about what perhaps what you see in your practice most right. often. And, and, you know, again, I want to stress that those certainly aren't the only claims that um, you see or that are handled. but. Um, I, one thing I have to ask you about is mm -hmm. in this economy, Kevin, right. everybody's worried about losing their job. Absolutely. Yes? Absolutely. So if an employee is injured or becomes ill at work and they file a workers' compensation claim, do they risk being fired by their employer? Well, first thing I'm going to say is that I think statistically what you're, what you're asking about is, is a fact. I think people are actually more afraid of filing workers' compensation claims right now because 
of the economy and they're afraid of losing their jobs. And it's too bad because, you know, the Workers' Compensation Act is there. I mean, it's, it's there to protect both sides, certainly. Right. It's, it certainly gives the employer rights and it gives the employee rights. But you have these rights and you are, when you're injured, entitled to compensation for that injury. And you shouldn't be afraid to go ahead and assert those rights. Now, getting to your question, can you be fired for filing a workers' compensation claim against your employer? There's two answers to this. There's my legal answer and there's my realistic answer. The legal answer is no. So if your employer comes up to you and they say, hey, you know, Larry, we really like you, but gosh, we're really pissed that you filed this workers' comp claim against us, so we got to let you go. Right. then you would actually have a separate lawsuit, a, a wrongful discharge claim oh. against your employer for doing that because you can't be discriminated against or fired for pursuing your rights under the Workers' Compensation Act. Mm -hmm. Now, that's my legal answer. Right. I'll also give my realistic answer to it, which is in the 24 years that I've been doing workers' compensation work and nothing but workers' compensation work, I've never heard of a situation where an employer has come up to one of my clients and said that to them right. because they know that that's right. what's going to happen. Um, so if they really get mad at you and they want to get rid of you, perhaps they're going to come up with other reasons to do it. Mm -hmm. um, but finally is what I'm going to say is I also very firmly believe I've never seen that before. And that's because I think that once I see cases where they've hired an attorney, obviously, me. Yeah. And I, I truly believe that once you've gone ahead and your employer sees that you've hired an attorney, that you know what your rights are, and therefore you're getting advice on what can and can't happen, that there's a very s remote likelihood that they would actually go ahead and do something like that because they know that, that you're being advised. You know, I think that's a very good point, and I think that that's very true. I think if you are you go to the trouble of retaining an attorney, then the employer is kind of put on notice right. that you do know your rights, you are being right. advised. And you know, this might be a good time to um, talk about what happens when you retain an attorney in a workers' compensation case, Kevin. Um, I think a, a lot of people misunderstand the uh, situation. Again, in an economy like